This video goes with section 134 of Hansen and Quinn's Greek and Intensive Course, and it covers negative pronouns and adjectives. You can find it in Hansen and Quinn on page 500. Now that you know heis mia hen, the word for one, you can add it to uda, the word for and not, and you get the compound negative no one. We can do the same thing, of course, with meda for those times when your sentence or clause requires a may form rather than an u form. So let's learn how to form these compound negative adjectives that can also be used as pronouns. The epsilon of uda disappears before the epsilon at the beginning of hase and hen, and so we get these forms. The same thing happens with meda in the may form, so medes, mede, mia, meden. The genitive is udenos, udemias, udenos, and medenos, medemias, medenos. Dative, udeni, udemia, udeni, with medeni, medemia, and medeni for the may form. And then the accusative, udena, Udemian, uden, and medena, medemian, meden. So we see this very often as a pronoun, meaning no one if it's masculine or feminine, or nothing if it's neuter. But you can use it as an adjective as well with a noun, in which case it will mean no. We have no sugar or something like that. So let me show you a few examples of these compound negatives in use in sentences. Apesen udes. That means no one will go away. But you can see and you will see an uk in front of that and it still means no one will go away. It doesn't become the opposite when you have two negatives in Greek. When you have a simple negative, just may or just one of the forms of u, before a compound negative, then the force of the negative is strengthened. So this still means no one will go away. Emoiga udes uden edoken. Again, we're going to have a double negative here, which in English would cancel itself out. But in Greek, it does not. And this means, to me, no one gave anything. Me apelthe me des. Let no one me des go away. So here we have one of the me forms with a prohibitive subjunctive. And again, we have a simple negative, me, followed by a compound negative, and so the force of the negative is strengthened. Uluthesitai udemia polis upata udeni tropo. There we have a lot of negatives, but the first one is a simple negative. And so we have no city, udemia polis, will ever be freed, upata luthesitai, upata, and then uluthesitai in any way, udeni tropo. So all those negatives keep emphasizing the negation because it starts with a simple negative. And with all those compound negatives afterwards, you get a very, very negative version rather than anything else. On the other hand, udes uk efugen, with the compound negative first, the compound negative has a simple negative afterwards. If it's a compound negative followed by a simple negative, the effect is canceled. The two negatives cancel each other out in the way that we think of double negatives in English. So this means no one did not flee or to make it more clear in English, everyone fled. So those are some examples of how to use the, your new negative pronouns and negative adjectives in Greek and also 
a little bit of an introduction to the varieties of ways that you can use more than one negative in a sentence. You'll get to read lots of examples in your sentences in Hanson and Quinn.